These are bees. Oh my goodness. This is Eli. Eli works with bees. Today we're gonna go play with bees. Not play with them. We're gonna take care of them. Take care of bees. We are here in Topanga Canyon at Eli's Bee Company. It's so freaking vibey here. Small crew, just four of us, myself included. And we're gonna be joining Eli for a ride along to figure out what is it like to be. Eli the bee guy. Eli. So you are a professional beekeeper. Um, I'm a small time professional beekeeper and we manage between five and 600 beehives. For those keeping track at home, that's somewhere between 10 to 40 million bees. That's small. Yeah, big time is 10,000 to 50,000 hives. What, how? how? Yeah. We met up with Eli bright and early. This is your place, obviously, yeah. and then where we're going is also your land? No. 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 You can't have too many bees in one location. They get territorial? Well, they get competitive with each other. You want to spread them out. In Topanga, you can have a lot of locations because the geography is so varied, you know, like each little canyon. And after suiting up and getting a quick safety lesson... If the bees decide to sting you, they're going to try to sting you up through this front zipper. It was time to meet the bees. Okay, wow, so we are here now, and I, I can't even begin to count how many bees are here. Wow, look at, wow, look at all these bees. In a small hive, there's about 10,000 bees. In a fully mature hive, there's like probably 50,000 bees. There's a lot of bees that work for me right now. Um, well, actually, I kind of work for them. So I'm safe right now, right? You're okay. Okay. It's pretty wild being here. You just have to kind of accept that there are going to be bees flying right into your face at all times. This one bee, really. Yeah, you just gotta ignore that one bee. I wanna ignore him. Hey, buddy. Her. Her. How you doing, Rachel? So let's just do a quick intro on this hive. Okay, so we're just gonna do a quick intro on this hive, because it's a small hive, a little easy to work with. I'm gonna have you be the smoker for now. Okay, tell me what to do. I'm gonna introduce some tools real quick. This is the smoker, or a bellows. You're gonna shoot the smoke across the entrance. And the smoke helps us work with the bees because it calms them down. You can see the bees react to it. You know, they smell it, and then they go inside. Just kind of keep it going? Uh, no, you can stop. When I open the lid, you're going to smoke a little bit on the top of the lid as well. On the top of the box. Oh, wow, Phil. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. You see all them bees? So I'm going to take a frame out. This is called the hive body, and these are the honey supers. And this box is exclusively for making honey. So as I pull it out, you'll Holy see all the bees on there. Holy cow. Each one of those cells glistens. That is fresh nectar. If you want to try this, you have to take your glove off, take one finger, and just push gently into the comb until the nectar comes onto your finger and scoop a little bit. There you go. That's fresh nectar. And now what? Now you can just taste it through your screen. Yeah, just stick it like, yeah, like that. Yum. Okay, so this is a frame. Oh, that looks different. Yep, they're starting to cap it over with the wax. So push in. Yep. Oh, wow. Holy cow. That is good. Hey, boo-boo. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. I'm gonna tell you, I really regret feeding myself honey right in the middle, because it's just now sticky on my nose. As a beekeeper, Eli's got a bunch of jobs throughout the day. Check on his hives, make sure the queens are okay, expand the hives, and of course, extract the honey, but that's not something he's gonna start till next week when I'm not here, so we can just, we can just cross that off the list. I, I promise the video is still gonna be really exciting. I mean, just look at all these bees we got. Wow, look at all these bees. Anyway, we're gonna do a quick ad because this honey ain't going by itself, and then we'll be back with the video. It's gonna be really good, I promise, okay. Thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this portion of today's video. You know, Keith, sometimes I feel like a busy bee, and it has me really stressed out. I get it. Sometimes the hard parts of life can really sting. Getting out of a therapy session has me feeling like a queen. 
be. BetterHelp is a great option by offering therapy online. So you're not locked into the therapist who are just in your town by being completely remote. You just have to take a little quiz and they'll partner you up with a great therapist who matches what your needs specifically are. And also it's kind of like dating. You know, sometimes the first match doesn't work out, but you can always find a different therapist they'll match you with. You don't have to worry about going out of network. You don't have to worry about any of that. It'll be easy, simple, nice. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and more accessible. You schedule a therapy appointment once a week, and then you can just give your therapist a buzz. You call them, you can do a voice chat or a video chat. You can even just send them text messages with something's on your mind. Click the link below for a 10% discount on your first month of therapy with a licensed professional specific to your needs. Thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Now back to the bees. Buzz. Okay, back to the video. Okay, let's look closely here because those are the workers and then here are the drones. Wait, how do you tell the difference? You have three principal types of bee. You have the queen who is responsible for laying all the eggs. Then there are her daughters who are the worker bees. And the drone bee, they appear only in the springtime, fly out of the hive and chase down virgin queens, mate with them mid-flight, and then die. <laughs> it's ideal. Every time you lift a hive, you can kind of read what's going on in there. It looks pretty busy. Busy bees. Yeah. The job is like extreme Where's Waldo. The queen, it looks like a worker bee, but she has a much larger abdomen because she has ovaries. We're just patiently looking frame by frame. Oh, there she is. Where? She's there. right here. Oh, I can around. see her like bulbous midsection. Yeah. While out here, you find that each hive has its own personality. Bees, bees, what do you think about Selena Gomez getting snubbed for an Emmy nomination? I'm gonna open up the main part of the hive so that we can just see what the pollen and the brood looks like. And every egg she lays has the potential to either become a worker female or a queen. The workers then decide that's a worker, that's a worker, that's a worker, that's a worker. And if they don't like the queen, they can decide, let's make that one the queen. The workers reel it into a specialized cell called the chrysalis, and they feed it a special bee milk called vetogelin or, excuse me, royal jelly, and voila, new queen. Is that the chrysalis? That's the chrysalis of the new queen. Right now, there's someone inside there. Yeah. I actually think that these bees want to replace that queen. Oh, and there's multiple. Yeah. So is this like a coup? What are they going to do with the old queen? It's like a coup. They're going to get rid of her. And then there's multiple chrysalises here. So one becomes this new queen. Yeah. The others are going to go off and start their own colony. Mm, more likely they'll just fight to the death and one of them will survive. Actually, what I'm going to do, because I don't actually want them to make their own queen, I'm going to cut those cells out and then I'm going to mark this queen and put a little dot on her back. Now we have that queen marked and we can make sure we know next time that it's the same queen. Consistency means a happy hive, which means more honey. Eli's job is to help the bees avoid conflict so he can help them live happy and long lives. I'm going to give him one of my queens, which are queens that I buy from a commercial breeder that are selected for, you know, productivity and gentleness. We're working together, you know, like I want them to make honey and survive for the winter. The easier it is for me to work with them, the easier it is for them to benefit from living with me in, in this apiary. So you got some M&Ms in here. Yeah, it's just in case. So this is called a nucleus hive. It almost sounds like a rattle. The bees are trying to push the smoke away with their wings. Do it again here, I'm not gonna talk. Sounds like when you're cooking and you like drop liquid on a, a hot tray and it goes hot, hot pan. Sorry, I don't know cooking. Why does the smoke calm them down? They don't um, think like, oh, we're under attack. I think that's just a fly. I know it is. If your bugs are bothering you, you can put your bees to I'm trying to be brave. <laughs> so two things. Number one is there's a natural reaction to fire. And when you put smoke, it causes the bees to have this urge to engorge themselves on honey, a lot less prone to flying out and trying to sting. The other thing that happens is that the hive is dark, right? It's a closed box. All of the communication is done by pheromone. There's an alarm pheromone the bees release, which tells everybody in the hive, okay, be on alert, we have a predator. So when you put smoke in the hive, you mask all the communication in the hive. So wait, 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 there's a smell that's like the 911 smell. It smells a little bit like um, cherries, or uh, people say it smells like bananas. Those are very different. I know, I know, but there's like a weird smell. So here's five frames of bees, and we're gonna move them into this 10 frame box. Okay. You can place it yourself right down on top of that bottom. There you go, get it right on the edge. Got your tool? 
Yes. You're going to hold the curve end in, in between the frames and you're just going to turn it like a pry. And you're just going to pick it up. So when you're working in a beehive, you're going to be really careful not to squish any bees. Okay? Give it a shot. Okay, bees, I need you to move. I don't want to squish you. Just go real slow and steady and just pinch. I feel like I'm diffusing a bomb. Okay, here we go. And... Uh... <laughs> wow. Wow. This is a very beautiful hive. Yeah! Wow, that was... Wow, that uh, was exhilarating. Okay, we're gonna do it oh, again. Honey. So once you're done transferring all the bees to their new home, there's still one thing left to do, and I don't know how to describe this part. And there's so many bees still in here. Yes, but we'll get them out. I know the queen's in there, right? We already saw her and yeah. we put her in. So I'm not that worried about these bees. I'm just gonna take them. And I'm gonna smash <laughs> them down. Shut and then I'm up. gonna just dump them out. Oh my God. They're gonna just crawl right into that hive and accept that hive as their new home. Wow. If only moving was so easy for me. Okay, uh, now time for me to um, uh, smack, some, smack the box. Now just shake them right at the entrance of the hive. Like shake it? Yeah, you can just shake it. Really shake it. There you go. <laughs> That's crazy. So now grab that one. That was the practice. This is the real deal. First you're gonna knock the box so all the bees fall to the bottom. Okay. Then you're gonna turn it over and dump them out. So straight down. Straight down. One, two, three. Now turn it over and dump them. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh wow. Get out of there bees. Get on out! Wow, and look at them. Just like that, they've got a new home. You can actually see the bees signaling to each other. They're actually releasing a pheromone and then blowing the pheromone with their wings. That's actually signaling to any of the bees that are part of this hive that this is our new home. Bees! There's a lot of unknowns in beekeeping, even to this day. I'm obsessed with puzzles, and bees are like this living puzzle can't tell you the beautiful feeling you have when you think maybe you know maybe there's no queen maybe this hive is gonna die and then you find that queen and she looks good and the bees look good and then you can sleep well at night <laughs> of all the domesticated creatures bees maintain a, like a true wildness about them I like the fact that every day is a puzzle figuring out that puzzle one day is different from figuring out that puzzle the next day. And um, slowly and slowly you get better at solving, you know, riddles and puzzles, but they always stay fun and fresh and they get more complicated the more deeper you get. New things keep coming up. Pretty, pretty good. Oh my God, I just realized when we're, when we're kneeling down, these are the bee's knees. You didn't like that? People say it smells like bananas and they also say like never eat a banana before you go beekeeping. But I, for breakfast, I had a banana. I had a banana. <laughs> yeah, we're screwed. <laughs>